Boise State enters the 2016 season with a number of new faces fresh off a 20-win season. The Broncos were 11-7 in Mountain West play and picked fifth this preseason. One returning starter on the roster in senior Nick Duncan, who joins us today along with teammate James Reed and head coach of the Boise State Broncos, Leon Rice. Uh, as I mentioned, one returner here with more than seven or more starts. You've got your two seniors here with you today, as well as a junior in Chandler Hutchison, but a number of new faces, a lot of youth on this team as well. Big picture, what can we expect to see from the Broncos this season? Well, that, that, that is the million dollar question. We don't know what to expect. We've got so many new guys, so many guys in different roles, and, and like you said, a, a ton of youth. And with that, is a lot of inexperience that when you put them out there, you kind of don't know what you're going to get. So I think that's an exciting time for our program. I like what I've seen in practice. I like these guys. They're, they're fun to coach. They're great to be around and maybe one of our best uh, groups at being together and, and doing team stuff. And, you know, hopefully their play reflects that. And in a lot of ways, uh, kind of starting over with, with a lot of new coaching changes and a lot of new faces, yeah. how has that transition been? Well, it's been a lot of fun, actually. It's, it's like seven years ago, this is our seventh season at Boise, and you know, we took the program over and there was a lot to put together. And you know, so in a, in a sense, you're doing that again with the new staff, uh, pretty much, and, and eight new players. But, but you do have the nucleus of guys that know what our culture's about and know what we do. And, so, you know, that makes it a little bit easier, and, and, but still it's an exciting time. It's a lot of fun. We're embracing it and really enjoying this year. One of those guys who has been around is, is you, Nick. Um, no more James Webb, no more Anthony Drimmick. You're someone who's going to be counted on a lot, I imagine, to be that production player. What are you looking forward to? Just looking forward to, you know, we uh, can pick fifth and seventh, so we've got a little chip on our shoulder, so we love that drive and that motivation during practice, you know, that not many people are expecting much from the, us this year, so we've been kind of going at practice and trying to get better and motivate us to, you know, win the championship this year, so I'm just excited to get on the floor with a lot of new guys that we haven't really played with and obviously a new sister with new coaches as well, lost a, a lot of coaches as well, so I'm mean, just excited to get out there and play under the new system and, and with a lot of new guys. And you are someone who was a part of that NCAA tournament team a couple years ago. Is that something also that you relate to these guys at all? Like, hey, Coach Rice has gotten us here before we can do it again? Well, definitely. I mean, Coach Rice is one of the most winningest coaches, really. He's won a lot of 20-win uh, seasons, so we, you know, we trust him a lot, and we have to because he's, you know, obviously our head coach, but he's done it before with, you know, Gonzaga and obviously coming here to Boise State, so, you know, we, uh, we listen to him and everything he says we take on board and trust that, you know, that, that'll get us the end goal. Uh, James, a senior transfer, somebody that, that sat out last season but playing now due to NCAA transfer rules. Um, what have you seen in the last season? What have you learned? How have you grown in watching things last year and, and getting out on the court this year? Well, it's a, first of all, it's a huge advantage, you know, to be able to take a year like that, um, especially coming to a new system midway through your career to get better and get acquainted with the players and the coaches um, and Boise all together. But, you know, last year watching, you know, not necessarily not being able to travel and whatnot, being able to learn from what I could on a day-to-day -day basis has been so helpful now as a leader and as a senior, you know, getting all these young inexperienced guys on, on the same page. How have practices been different um, with the new coaching staff and with all of these new faces? I mean, you know, from last year to this year, not a huge difference. We still run a similar system, even though there's quite a few new guys running it. Um, and Coach Rice has done a good job of keeping that, um, you know, that same culture, the same type of offense and defense in. Um, and now, you know, we're used to it. You know, it's, it's not a culture shock to guys that have been, been here for more than this last year. And Coach, what do you see in these guys? These are your seniors. These are these guys that are, are leading your program this year. Well, uh, our success is probably going to They'll go with the way they are and number one they've been just amazing leaders and you know great role models for these all these new freshmen and young guys and um, so I couldn't ask for more from them there uh, also on the court you know they give us two weapons that that really are a key to our system is being able to space a defense out and spread a, a team out off you know with our the way they shoot the ball so uh, it's kind of about what we've been based on you know, throughout the years when we have teams that can really move the ball and shoot the ball, we become pretty hard to guard and 
I think that's what these two guys definitely give us. Is that something that you guys are really trying to work on this year and incorporate is getting the ball in the net, making sure that you guys are moving the ball offensively? Yeah, that, that's kind of been our specialty. And You know, we've had a few guys that the ball has to stop with, like Derek had to, you know, bounce the ball a little bit more than some of the, some of the guys we have now. You know, he was great at it, so the ball had to stop with him. These guys, we, you know, it moves probably quicker and, and freer. Um, but, you know, conversely, you, you probably don't have as many guys that can go get their own like maybe we've had in the past. So we're going to we're gonna have to play together better to be an effective team. Well, over the summer, I know that you all took that trip to Costa Rica. Um, how did that help make the group get together and, and help create a better dynamic and kind of build some groundwork on that? I see, it uh, looks like you made some friends over there. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I told them, don't worry about it, guys. Pigeons are the cleanest birds. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. Uh, the, you know, it was a special experience for these guys and for us as a staff. And uh, I don't think we could have gotten more out of that. It, it was great for our team. The basketball part of it was really terrific. And we, we spent a lot of time learning about a new country that we didn't know much about. So I, I don't think we, I don't think it could have went better. And it's going to be one of those lifelong memories that we always have together. And um, you know, I think uh, I think it was a lot of fun. And but we also accomplished a, a lot basketball wise that experience like like for you guys getting to go out there it looks like it was a fun trip a lot of group bonding but as coach said a lot of uh, experience on the court as well it was great we had four games at the start and obviously with new coaches with new teammates uh, we just wanted to go down there and not worry about the wins or losses and just go down there and play and put the system we learned over the summer into place and just get to know each other our habits and what we do on the court so it was a great experience for us on and off the court obviously and you know we're going to take that forward and it was probably the best trip we've really taken, um, obviously with all the new guys. So we're just going to take that forward and uh, take all the advantage we got from that trip and season. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the, one of the biggest things that helped us with was the practices. Um, you know, you get 10 practices by the NCA rules before we even left that with so many new guys and so many freshmen, high school freshmen especially, um, to have be able to work through some of this stuff basketball wise with those guys before now I mean we're so f much further along now than we would be had we not had the the trip um, and I think we'll see that pay off as we get into the season definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys can do this season thanks for hanging out with us on the Mount West Network today Thank you. Thank you.